are you? Welcome to my channel, Stung by Samantha, and today I'm doing something totally different. I'm doing a tag video. I've never done one of, one of these before. This is um, the Grown Ass Woman Tag, so I did love that name. How could I not? I actually got tagged by Denim Vixen. Vixen. I'll put her link below, so thank you for tagging me in this. And yeah, let's get right onto this. Anybody who wants to go ahead and tag themselves, please do. I'm not going to force anybody to do anything. I might, I might ask one of my girls to to do these questions for me because you know you're a grown ass woman too, right? Okay, let's get on to it. For question number one is, what would you tell your 20 year old self? Well, I mean, that's gotta be like the hardest question ever because what would I tell my 20 year old self? Um, I kind of admire a lot of things from my 20 year old self. I admired, um, I was extremely creative I didn't really care what other people thought. I kind of was like, I'm doing my own thing. And I wasn't so influenced by other people's opinions of me. So I love that. Um, but what I don't love about that time in my life is I just kind of had an attitude. And I thought that I, with all that confidence of uh, being creative, I thought that I didn't really have to work as hard as I would have had to to get the things that I wanted in life. So I would have told myself, girl, you still got to work just because you are an artist and into fashion and talented and uh, you still got to work your butt off your ass off or else you'll be a grown ass woman doing something that you don't love. Right. So um, that and I would also say, don't don't take don't be so dramatic. Drama ain't cool. Like drama is not that cool. I thought it was really dramatic and cool. You have to be everything you have to feel the pain. And, um, you know, everything that I went through, I love because that makes me the person I am today. But, you know, I could have done without all that drama in my life, right? Okay, so that was question number one. Ooh, that took a while to answer. Okay, let's move on to number two. Okay, so question number two is what was your favorite 80s or 90s bands? And in the let's just start with the 80s because the 90s, you know, I was like doing something else. I was into like all this other stuff. But in the 80s, which is really when I was a teenager, um, hats off to Annabella Lewin from Bow Wow Wow. You were my idol girl. You changed my life. I dressed like you. I, you influenced me so much in my fashion, where I wanted to be, just your attitude, what you sang about. You were 14. You were awesome. You had a mohawk. Yeah. Annabella Lewin, Bow Wow Wow. Okay, moving on. Um, what were your favorite TV shows? Wonder Woman, you know, I mean, Wonder Woman girl, Bionic Woman, shoot, was that the 80s? I think so. Um, I'd stay up all night for that. Just totally remember watching Bionic Woman, loving her. And of course, Wonder Woman and Charlie's Angels, please. My God, Cheryl Ladd. I mean, I love Farrah Fawcett, but Cheryl Ladd, what? Jacqueline Smith, come on now. Kate Jackson, loved you all. So yeah, okay, go on with those. Um... What was your favorite Atari game? I did not play any of video games. I am like a bleh, bleh when it comes to video games. I don't love them. I got a bad taste in my mouth about video games, but um, yeah, no, I just, I just never got into them, but you know, I know people like them a lot. Do you rely on Spanx? That was number five. <laughs> I don't wear Spanx, but I have some Spanx. Um, I bought Spanx when I had my daughter and I was like going out for my birthday. I think I was like, it was eight, my daughter was eight months old and I put on my dress and you could just see like the, the little bit of stomach hanging. So I did wear Spanx. I love Spanx. I think they're totally cool. I think everyone should have a pair of Spanx, but I also um, think you should work your ass off to get your butt back. But you know, um, that's what I try to do, but I love a little enhancement and I do have, I, I have like three pairs of Spanx. Um, I just like the shorts to wear under like a skirt or a fitted dress. Just it kind of tucks in your waist a little bit, gives you that more of an hourglass look to it. And um, then I have to have a, have a full body Spanx that you can wear under a dress that you don't have to wear a bra and it kind of like tucks it all in for you. So yeah, I love, I love the natural look of the body. I think it's kind of hot, but yeah, when you got to tuck it all in. So yeah, go for Spanx girl. I'm not judging you. Spank it up, spank it up. Okay, next question. The next question is what are my thoughts on Botox? Now, I am going to put a link to my video on frownies because, you know, and again, I don't care if you get Botox, I don't care what you do. Yeah, I'll probably get Botox maybe one day if I could afford it. But in, for right now, um, I'm not using Botox and I am using frownies, which are little facial patch that I put on my face every day to get rid of this 11 because I hate looking angry. 
But um, if you want Botox, girl, go for it. I mean, I, yeah. And, and if it comes to that time that I'm gonna need a little bobo, you know, I'm gonna do it. I am. And um, it's not necessarily plastic surgery. I don't know. That's a whole nother thing with plastic surgery and me. I don't care if other people get it. Um, I really do want to teach my daughter to love herself, but sometimes you just gotta, some things do help a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What is next? Um, what's the thought on Botox? If you could have one beauty product, what would it be? Oh, I've thought about this for like 20 years because I always used to think if I was on a desert island and I needed one thing, what would it be? I can't just have one thing. I always used to think it would be concealer, just like a little concealer under the eyes to brighten me up. But then I was like, what would concealer be without like a little mascara? And then I was like, okay, you need bronzer. You gotta have a little color in your face, a little contour, bring some highlights and some shadows, some dimension back into your face. You don't look so flat, because as you get older, if you're not like brightening it up, you look a little flat. We don't wanna look flat. So maybe I'm gonna have to say bronzer. Ooh, but chapstick, don't we all need a little chappy chap? Oh God, all right. That's what I'm saying, I'm saying bronzer. And ooh, what is the biggest body change since 40? What? Um, well, I had my daughter when I was 38. Um, it took a couple of years for me to get my body back. My biggest body change is what a baby does to your body. Hmm, yeah, but you know what? Uh, even what um, my child has done, I breastfed for a year and a half. Yeah, you heard me straight, a year and a half. And you know, that wreaks a little havoc, doesn't it? But you have to love who you are. I love being a mother. It is the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. My body did change. You know, I have like the loose skin on my stomach and the baby did come out of the vagina. You know what I'm saying? A big baby. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, I breastfed for a year and a half and my boobs got like ginormous and then they got back to like the regular size. So, you know, um, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but um, I, I totally love my body because it was able to create this beautiful child and I'm proud of it and you know, whatever. So the biggest change is what the baby did. But other than that, you know, I kind of love my body in my forties. I feel sexier and hotter than I ever have in my life. I'm way more confident. So yeah, that's what I have to say about that. And I think we all should, we all should. Wait, are we coming to the end? Finish this sentence. I wish I was more Fearless. I want to be like bad ass, fearless. Like, come on, bring it on. What's next? I can do it. You know, these last few years, I have kind of been through hell and back, and I got through and I recovered. Um, I do feel like I'm. Uh, I was fearless at times, but I could do a little bit more, a little bit more fearlessness because um, you need to be challenged every day to kind of reach out to get your goals. Like, you got to get through things in your life, and you have one life. And I need to be the best me for my daughter. She needs to look up at me and say, that woman's a badass. That woman did what she wanted. And that's why I went on point shoes when I was 40. Because I was like, yeah, I'm 40, but I'm going to put those point shoes on so my daughter can look up to me. So, yeah. Ah, um, one more thing. Um, wait a minute. Is there another question? Choose one. Bags, shoes, or something else. Um, oh bags and shoes all fall in the accessory line and I love accessory I love hats I love sunglasses jewelry rings all accessories I love as a matter of fact if I had my dream it would be to do a collaboration on an accessory line I would love that for um, an inexpensive accessory line for hats sunglasses because I think like with a white t-shirt and some jeans if you have accessories that's all you need you don't need anything else okay so yeah that's what I'm going with, guys. That's what I'm going with today. Um, thank you for this tag, Denim Vixen. You are awesome for tagging me in this. I think it was just totally fun. Because I am. I am a grown-ass woman just like you. Okay? Mm-hmm. And before I go, um, I do want to say that I have a video coming for these new <gasps> Modern Matte Lipsticks by Jordana, which I am going freaky for um actually two for four dollars the color that i am freaking out over is the matte blush um there these are their new jordana lipsticks and they're just awesome this is more of a coral this is the pretty i'm wearing this today and it's modern matte jordana lipsticks and yeah they stand for like five hours and we love that don't we yeah we do so anyway you guys have a great day i'll put some links to my workout and um i will tag somebody who i think would like this and um yeah guys see ya bye <laughs>